right, YouTube. Just in case anybody's having this problem I've been having, I've been trying to run a Mac OS X Snow Leopard, in which it is version 10.6.1 through 10.6.2 Snow Leopard on a virtual box, virtual machine, virtual box. And I'll go ahead and show you that it works before I get started on how I got it to work. It's quite a chore. It's not your average just uh it's not your average Windows operating system or Linux type uh putting a Mac OS uh in the virtual machine is kind of tricky. There you go, you have it. There's Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard running in a virtual box. All right, I'm gonna close this out. All right, to start out with what you need is you got to have a Snow Leopard ISO. I'll try to put it in the my description. You got to have virtual box. I tried VM Workstation. I tried both players and I couldn't ever get it. I was frustrated for hours and hours. And all I was doing was setting things a little bit wrong in my settings. Okay. All right, we're just gonna create a new one, walk you through it. You go to Mac OS 10, Snow Leopard 64-bit. I'm just going to name it something different because I already have this one and it won't let me name it the same. So I'm going to just call it Snow Leopard. You can name it whatever you'd like though. It doesn't matter. I give it four, roughly four gigs of RAM. Create your hard drive. Just leave all that default. You can give your hard drive a more size or less depending on how you need to use it. I'm just going to leave mine at 20 gigabytes for the for the tutorial. And there's your Now, when you get this step, you got to go to settings. On the general tab, I don't think you have to set these. I, some people say you do by directional where you can share folders and whatnot. I don't think it matters, but some people say you do and some don't. Okay, under this one, you want to remove floppy and do this. Okay, and here you want to change. No, you want to leave that. You want to untick that one for now. In your processor, you want to change it to 2 if you can. I have a I have an i7 quad core processor in this computer so it's a pretty good little computer. I need a video card though where I can actually do recording from my monitor or my computer instead of having to use my GoPro but if you'll bear with me I'm just new at this so I turn my video settings all the way up. All that I leave the same. Enable 3D acceleration. If you can some machines may not allow you to. And every machine may be different too, but that's your general settings the way you want them to start out with. If you're experiencing the same problems I'm having. Okay, display and just turn the video up on that. Okay, then you go to your storage, click on the empty. Over here, you want to add the Snow Leopard ISO file into your uh, to your virtual DVD drive and then that should be it click OK fire it up <coughs> and then when as soon as it pops up click in the box to capture your mouse and click push F8 okay that'll give you some this is where it kept messing me up until I found a certain video online and it showed me this command you do a minus V space CPUS equals one space BUS ratio 
equals 20 and hit enter and then voila it load up <coughs> excuse me boom boom there you go Mac OS 10 and you go through the installation process just like if you were going to install it on a Mac you have to do your disk utility click your virtual hard drive erase it um, name mine Macintosh and click erase erase and give it a second it'll partition your hard drive create a Macintosh uh, formatted hard drive boom there you go you can close this box continue agree select select your hard drive excuse me and install and it'll go through the process and then once it the way I had to do it once it gets done with this the installation process your machine will want to restart you know obviously after it installs it has to restart in order to to set everything up so I'm going to minimize this while it's installing after it installs then you can try to boot it up the the default way you had the settings but that's where I kept getting the problem because I would get this fine but after it restarted it would never start up and I kept pulling my hair out wondering what am I doing wrong well then I had to go back and put my settings like this I had to change in system I changed this from the ICH9 to the P2X3 and in tick this tab enable special OS's only that's basically the only two things you have to change in the settings for the system then you'll go to the storage and where you have your snow leopard attached to your uh, virtual drive you'll just um, remove it and then add your host drive your DVD drive right there that's that's the only two things you have to change hit OK and click start and it's gonna load a little slow because I have both machines running this one's still installing The other, with the other one still installing it's going to make it run a little slow it's still installing well actually it's nearly done I think no it's still checking the installation DVD I tried many many hours to get this thing to run I about gave up on it but I kept seeing people that would get it running no problem no problem and I there's got to be something more to it I'm not doing and I think I figured it out oh, I know I figured it out because I got it running and it's fixing to be up here in just a second not really a big Mac fan they're pretty interesting but I'm more into uh, Windows machines obviously they're so much more simpler these Macs are way more complex boom there you go Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard running in the Oracle virtual machine da -da 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 -da. Got this Mac There you have it. I hope this helps somebody that may have been pulling their hair out with this tutorial. I don't think I'm going to put the links. The, if you need the download links in the description, let me know in the comments. But 
please like my videos and subscribe if you haven't already and I will be making more videos in the future uh, maybe not of these type but tear downs and uh, computer repair videos whatnot they're still installing this one it'll take it a while but there you have it thank you for watching have a good day